Okay, we are out in the workshop with the next DIY project, which is the CB Giddy Hobo Fiddle Kit. And um, a hobo fiddle is a made-up instrument. Well, I guess every instrument is made up, but um, it has a legend that goes with it that's a, a made-up legend, but it, it's a great story of a hobo that used to ride the rails back in the day and, and um, made one of these from scraps that he found along the rail yard and such. Um, was previously a guitar player and whatnot. I won't, I, you can look up the legend if you want. But anyway, this is the kit that goes along with the legend. I got this for Christmas. This is my third CB Giddy kit. The first one I did was the Tin Pan Alley, which is a three string resonator. Second one I did was the Mountain Tenor, which is a four string box guitar. And then this is the third. As you can see, it's three strings and they are nylon. Hopefully, I'll try to keep my shadow out of the shot here. They are nylon. Um, it has the hobo symbols there uh, burned into the fretboard, which is kind of cool. Uh, this comes, this actually, I didn't hardly did anything to this kit to customize it. It really just pretty much comes how it is uh, or how you see it. Um, these holes up here in the soundboard are not drilled. They recommend you drill smaller holes and drill more of them, but that's how I did it. Um, it also does not come with electronics, but I added a PSO pickup and a jack. You can see the jack there, and there's a, a pickup underneath the bridge area. Um, other than that, that's pretty much what it came with, really. The only modification I made is up here on the headstock. I put that little 25 on there. And um, I put that on there because it kind of reminded me of the numbers on a train. Where they put the you know the numbers on the engine of the train kind of reminded me of that plus i thought 25 1925 probably would have been a pretty good year to be a hobo so i kind of put that together um other than that it's a pretty simple kit to build um some of the instructions were a little odd like for instance because it has nylon strings you have to uh, tie knots in the um in the string there so that it doesn't pull through the ferrule. So in the instructions, it just says tie a granny knot. It doesn't tell you how, how to tie one. And I knew that I'd heard of a granny knot, but I get them confused with different types of knots. So I actually had to go look that up. It would have been nice if they would have told you what a granny knot was uh, or showed you how to tie it. I mean, anyway, uh, a couple things like that that, you know, I could nit, nit, nitpick. But overall, I mean, the kit was pretty straightforward, pretty easy to build. Um, you, of course, have to notch the box yourself and notch the neck yourself. It just comes with a plank. There's no pre-shaping, so you're responsible for all the shaping of the headstock area and there where the nut goes in. You have to put that in yourself. Um, you have to notch all this, drill the holes. Nothing is pre-drilled on this one. So, in some ways, it's a little more sophisticated kit than some of the other kits. Um, but it's, it's still really easy to build. I mean, they give you all the parts. It's pretty straightforward. Um, the bridge here is a standard um, kind of hovering bridge, and I notched it there for the strings to drop into um, the body. So you can hear just, hold on, there you go. It's not near as resonant as some of the other boxes I've used. The wood on this, even on the top of the box, the wood is quite thick. Um, so I'm not sure how the volume's gonna be. Uh, we'll find out in a second here. But uh, overall, it's a pretty nice kit. Um, I like it a lot. It looks great. It has the open gear tuners here. Hopefully we can see that, open gear tuners there. Um, I don't know, pretty good uh, little kit overall. I don't have too many complaints about it. Um, and uh, it's instead of doing a sound sample right here, because it's actually kind of chilly out today, um, I'll do a separate video um, where I'll do a song or something on it. So. Um, and get a little better idea of how it sounds. But here she is, the uh, Hobo Fiddle Kit from CB Guinea. Hey there, I know I said I was gonna wait till tomorrow to make a clip, um, and I will still do that, but I've been sitting here just kind of plunking around on this thing, and it, it sounds really good. Um, it's not very loud as I suspected. Well, apparently the cat wants to get in the shot. It's not very loud as I suspected, but um, it is loud enough to sing with. But what's kind of cool about it, now granted these are nylon strings, so they're going out of tune about every you know four seconds. Hi, kitty. So, um, but uh, the <laughs> she's gonna totally get in the shot here, honey. It's okay. Um, so anyway, what I noticed is if you're playing like a major chord like that, and if you switch it to the note being in the bass, you get a really different resonance. And then so I tried like some suspended chords, 
And normally I'm not a huge fan of suspended chords, but on this box, they sound really good. So you can do something like this. I mean, just anything like that, and it just sounds really awesome. Um, so, I don't know, I'm pretty pleased with it. Uh, That's what I'm talking about. Um, I'm gonna play with it some more tomorrow. I'll get you guys a proper video, but I uh, just wanted to throw that in on the end.